What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Hi! <coughs> Phil's got a hair appointment. Yep. Just getting ready to go do that. Hair We've been up, it's like, it's almost one. We've been working all morning. Uh, Priscilla and I got up early, but the kids slept in late. I know. Yeah. We got a bunch done though, so that's awesome. Isaiah got me a present for Father's Day. I think I told you guys, but check it out. So this is James Coffee Company. James and Peter McKinnon. They partnered to make this. It's Golden Hour Blend, this coffee, and then this enamel mug with the owl logo in the Canada. Love some Canada, man. Love it. Canada. Love coffee even more. And the Canada. Uh, later on, brew some of that. Those are whole beans, so we've got to grind them and do the whole the whole thing. So excited. We have a plan to, uh, to save our days here. Obi-Wan, are you down for the plan? You actually look like Princess Leia. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. So we talked about in the vlog that I was feeling a little little down, a little meh about the move and all that and dealing with the lenders and all that crap, you know, and someone made a comment that, that we should we should uh, uh, faith pack. So we're packing on faith that we're going to move. I think it's a good, it's a good idea, you know, it, it gets you kind of in the direction of moving, makes you feel like you're moving, makes you feel like you're doing things. Why are you sizing up your turtle for his leash? It's, he's not going to go he's on a walk. He's getting excited. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's like, like oh, it's I the same go color as his food jar too. He's not getting excited to go on a walk. walk. No, no, no. Okay. Son, we have three boxes filled from your room. Yeah. And all three have bottles in them. Yeah. Well, one has hats. No bottles and hats. Yep, bottles and hats. Do I have too many bottles? Yeah. Three boxes of bottles. Memories, moonlight. Do you want to tell everybody about your bottles so they know what why you? Oh yeah, a lot of you guys don't know. So I collect bottles from special events, and so when we went on the App State tour, for example, I got a special bottle, and it's of craft soda, and so and then I write on the bottom where I got it from, and uh, the year. But it's kind of like a memory thing, you know, keep up with what I've. You you remind me of the guy from Peter Pan who had his marbles, his bag of marbles. Yeah. yeah. I've lost my marbles. Isaiah's memories are in little glass bottles. It's kind of sad. It's not sad, it's, it's it's quaint. Eccentric. It's all yeah, and and sad. <laughs> yeah, and sad. Really sad. Are you gonna pack? Huh? Girl, you are in a perpetual weekend, aren't you? You get your rest. She's had issues sleeping. Another meltdown before bed last night. Mm -hmm. You always worry about like comorbidity, you know, any other issues she's having mentally, things like that. That's I was laying there after a meltdown trying to help her. You know, I'm worried about that. And Priscilla and I have talked about it. We both agree, like, I think it's just hormones. You know, she's a teenager, raging hormones all the time. So, uh, we also got a question. Someone said that, do we ever sit and wonder, like, you know, oh, is that autism or is that just, you know, teenager and hormones, stuff like that? And yeah, of course we do, all the time. I think one difference, though, is that, like, even though something may just be, oh, well, that's hormones, that's a teenager, it's how she responds to it that's differently because she doesn't have the social cues or the social understanding of, oh, I can or cannot act this way or should or should not should not act this way. So she just lets it all rip, you know, and like full-on raging meltdown because she's upset about something. Right now she's upset about nothing. And that's good. Love you, sweet girl. Are you hiding? Can't hide in here. She knows you're here. Just gonna take a moment. Good luck, Brandy. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Monday after Surfers for Autism. She is like the tiredest she's uh, ever been her yeah. entire life. Was she up a lot last night or just tired from surfing? No, she slept super late. Wow. Yeah. She slept till like 10.30. No way. 10 o'clock, yeah. I can't believe you woke up. I know. Brandy was walking out the door and she's like, I'll wake up now. <laughs> well, guess what? Are you ready? Lisa's just vacuuming it, it's easy. Yeah, she picked this, I set them all right here. Okay, so I also talked about a, a plan earlier. So the plan is to pack things. But the plan is also to enjoy our summer. So what we've done is like each one of us like picked out something we want to do this week. 
-hmm. like uh, like a movie night or uh, Priscilla said like a pool day, which obviously won't be a whole day, but you know, a few hours at the pool. So, you know, we get up and we pack and we work and we get all this stuff done. That way we have something to look forward to. The kids have something to look forward to. It's not just, hey, we got to pack and move, you know, you, you, and I think it's a, it's, it's not just a tip for young kids. It works for older kids too, right Isaiah? Yeah. Hey, hey, we're going to watch a movie tonight. Okay. Yeah. Fun movie night. But we're also going to pack the house. That way they have something to look forward to instead of just more packing, you know, or whatever activities you have them doing around the house. I know not everybody's moving, but you always want them to do uh, do chores and get stuff done. So we have it scheduled out. It kind of gives us incentive of his parents as well to, you know, get things done. Then we can then we can have a good time and still enjoy our the first part of our summer while we got all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Good. You better pack all those board games. We're going to need them. For all those fun family nights, playing games. I love how cultured you are. Yep. I was petting the fur. Oh, you The faux fur. Yeah. I Cat. think my closet's weird. It is weird. Wow. You have a strange I'm just now closet. looking at this. Yeah. Pineapple pajamas. Actually, they're fine apple pajamas. I'm cute. Wait, um, what time are we watching the movie? <laughs> It depends on how soon you quit playing around and get packed. So we're not watching the movie tonight? <laughs> wow. That's a bunch of art. She was super compliant. So my favorite one, though, is this one. Look at me. What? <laughs> Stop. I'm not it's... going out when I leave here. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. She totally will do this with me. Rock the canvas, too. Wow. Do the paint. So that's amazing. It is amazing. So holy cow! I think it goes this way. That is. Uh, Man, this is thousands of dollars. That's her meeting. masterpiece. Yeah. That's You know, we we've had that canvas for a while. We've been wanting to do a fundraiser with it. That's so cool. That's fantastic. Well, good job, Nanny. Now what? Good job, Sugar are, Pop. Are you gonna Are you gonna let us have it, or are you keeping that one? It's yours. <laughs> now we know. Buy me a stack. Buy me. I'm I'm ready for a studio and a utility sink. We need a utility sink. Okay. <laughs> we can, we can make all that happen. So, but yeah. Wow. That's she will beautiful. do this. She totally held her end and did this with me. That's I'm exci awesome. I'm excited that she would do it. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That, that is so cool. cool. I love dry. that. Hey, say bye to Nanny. Are you riding a bicycle there? We got one wait. pants leg. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nanny. That's awesome. Yeah, that's. Yeah, awesome. it's cool. So that, like, that's a good size. She can get the rhythm of rocking a canvas. Hey, you did a fantastic job painting. Good job. How did how did you paint Nanny? High five. How did you paint Nanny? How'd that happen? Stop asking for food. You just ate dinner, huh? I want to know. I wish I had a camera set up in here. Hey, so I, um, not, I don't, I'm not calling you out at all. I'm just talking about like the reality of things and things that happen, you know, and and because um, we've all done it before. But earlier today, Isaiah was getting stuff out of his car. Um, he came back in and just got distracted, forgot to lock the door. So I was upstairs packing, and I heard the the motion thing go off on the ring doorbell, and uh, I was like, did he go back out to his car? And I just, you know, like 30 seconds later or so, I looked outside, and Abby's walking down the street, checking other people's door handles, trying to get in their car. Um, she's got a thing about getting, she like always wants to go for a car ride, so she'll get into a hot car. She doesn't care. Um, then the mail lady pulled up as I was running downstairs, running outside, and Abby tried to get in the van with the mail lady. Like, of all things, Abby, do not get in strangers' vans. Like, that's the number one rule you don't do. So that was kind of scary, but it's not something, like, we've all done it. You know, we've all forgotten to lock the door. Yeah. Abby hasn't tried to get into some stranger's van on the side of the road. But we've all forgot to lock the door. You know, when, when Dad talks about, like, you know, this is real life. And, and people talk about, like, oh, my gosh, I just don't know how you guys are so perfect all the time. We're not. We just don't always have the camera on. So you don't see all of my mess-ups because I have plenty. So. Well, and that's why I talk about, like, because in the moment, like, I'm not going to grab a camera. Like, Abigail's out of the house. Thumbnail. Like, I'm just going to go get my kid before she gets hit by a car. Right. And, you know, it's easier to pick up the camera when things are going smooth and, and everything's easy and everything's happy and fun. And I want you guys to know, like, these things happen to us, too. It happens. Isaiah's proofs came in. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> Priscilla says, take all my money. Take all of it. She has, oh, you guys, stories. I got so mad one year <laughs> because she bought all the photos because they were going to throw them away because that's what yeah. they do to you. They're like, well, if you don't, you know, if you don't buy the portraits, we'll just throw them away. So she bought, how much was that? It was a lot. It was like $300. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you don't look at this price tag. Oh, this is more than that. Dad knows that. No, how much? should know. How much more? What do you mean I should know? How much more? Like, she wants to get the unlimited package. How much is the unlimited package? $530. Like $530. $530. We're not getting college pictures. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> what? Yes, we will. So funny story for you guys. The movie quote that I did the other day in the vlog, what day was that? It was on the way to SFA and we saw the truck and, it, and, and the quote was, you like Degs? So a lot of you guessed it right, a ton of you. And so many of you said, I can't believe nobody's guessed it yet. It's a great movie. The problem is I have pretty strict word filters on to hold comments for review. So all of your movie quote guesses went to hell for review because the name of the movie is Snatch. So it went straight to Held for Review. There's like a hundred comments over there uh, with the movie title. So good job. <laughs> but that's funny. Yeah, good luck if you're a troll. Good luck getting a dirty word through my filter. I've got, it's like 3,000 word, words and word combinations, something like that. Uh, Hi. You gonna hang out with me while I work? Uh, yeah? You, we're not gonna get a snack right now, but you, if you wanna hang out, you can. Go ahead, sit down. Hang out. No snacks. Nope, not doing it. No, you can't take, no, give me that. You cannot take the beach towels. You gotta stop chewing on the beach towels, okay? So I got the question, I think it was on Patreon. Someone asked if I could show how I make vlogs. Sure. So I use Adobe <laughs> Premiere Pro. Uh, so I use a dual screen setup. Laptop over here, second screen over here. It makes my workflow a lot faster. They spread things out nicely because you have like all your controls and stuff for like effects and color grading and effect controls, your your project panel up here, all that. And then on this screen, I can do the bulk of the work. So this is kind of like a preview of what it looks like. And then this is the timeline that I'm actually working in. So like when there's music over top of tracks. So like this is, this is music down here on this line. And then up here is going to be is going to be a second audio source, so two audio sources, one music, one one speech. Videos right here in the middle. Uh, another video track here. That's an adjustment layer for changing colors and stuff. It can get super technical. This is actually pretty easy. Like I just have this is about as complicated as I get. You know, I might have a transition, an adjustment layer, video, audio, music. And then I might have like a, like a transition sound effect, something like that in there. I keep my files open over here so they're easy to get to. And like I just have it labeled with what it is so I can go through quickly and find stuff. Some stuff is just sound. Like I'll, I just collect audio to use in the vlog. I don't have a dedicated uh, sound recorder. So I just use the mic on the camera. And so I was pointing it at the water and getting wave sounds so I could use it in the vlog. The reason being, is drone footage does not have audio, it doesn't have any sound. And somebody actually commented one time that they wanted to hear audio, they wanted to hear the waves and stuff like that. So I was like, ah, oh, that's a really good idea. Why don't I do that? So that's what I do. Now a really in-depth vlog like this one, um, it takes a long time. You know, it, it probably took me uh, two hours to, uh, about an hour and a half to build the first like two minutes of the vlog right around there. So. Sometimes it can take a really long time. Other sections of it are pretty fast, you know, like talking parts of it. Those are pretty easy to get through. Uh, little jump cuts here and there, but it's it's those those heavy uh, B-roll music montage, stuff like that, the, the transitions with the zooms and stuff. That stuff takes a while to create. So if we're talking about like a live action vlog, you know, where it's just like us talking and doing stuff, things like that, it, it, it could take me as short as three hours to edit a vlog. Uh, one of these, something more intense and detailed, uh, could be up to like six hours total to edit. Um, and that's that's a, about a 10 to 12 minute video, 10, 15 minutes, takes me six hours. So it's, um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> what are you, what are you yelling about? Huh? Why are you making so much noise? What? No, you're not eating. You already had dinner. It's bedtime now. It's actually, it's 10, 15. It's so late. Mm. Yeah. You need to get ready for bed. What do you think of that? Mm. 
Are you ready for bed? <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom? Then go to the bathroom. <laughs> you need a break? You're not doing anything that requires a break. And everything I learned, I just kind of jumped in and did it. Uh, everything, Anything I don't know, I just look up on, <laughs> on YouTube, as a matter of fact. I, I learned how to do stuff. I learned something new today. I was doing Zoom transitions, like build your own Zoom transitions for this vlog. So you can learn how to do all this stuff online. It's pretty cool. We just put Abby in bed. Mm -hmm. So today, today because it's past midnight, so technically tomorrow. Yeah, what's the date? The 25th. The 25th. Tell them what today is, so. Today is our adoption day for Maverick. Yep. We adopted him six years ago. If you guys don't know, Maverick was at the Savannah Humane Society. He was a puppy. We think maybe like nine weeks, mm -hmm. ten weeks old. And he was left there. And so that's where we adopted him from. Yep. So he's been with our family ever since. So we adopted him as a service dog. He came home with us. And uh, after that, he went to, he came home with us for how long? How long was he? About two weeks. Okay. And then he went to jail. Yeah. He went to the Pound Puppy it's Program. Criminal. So they get like initial training from inmates at the jail in Georgia. Mm hmm And uh, prison in Georgia. Yeah. And it's the Pound Puppy Program. So they get like, you know, sit, stay, use the bathroom outside, like all those, you know, the initial commands and stuff like that. And it, it helps rehabilitate uh, the inmates as well. And they're with the inmates for 24-7. Yeah. The whole time they're there. So he got that initial training and then he went... Um, to the Wolf Pact, which is uh, a trainer that used to be in Georgia. Mm -hmm. They're not there anymore. Um, to get his uh, service dog training, his specialized training. Yep. And she had a daughter with autism. Mm -hmm. And then she also um, does military service dogs. But they've since moved because her husband was in the military. So Maverick's job was... Uh, um, had to do with elopement primarily at first. Uh, we had plans for him to build a tracker if she did elope and go missing and then assist uh, with sensory issues, uh, meltdowns, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, he was a service dog for how many years? I think about three years. Three. Sounds yeah. about right. Um, so what happened was Abigail grew out of things. The elopement reduced... Uh, we quickly realized that her sensory needs, like she is, was, and still is the only person that can really fulfill her sensory needs. Right. That's Most of her sensory needs are all self-regulated because yeah. that's just how she works. Sensory blank, you know, weighted blankets, uh, compression vests, weighted vests, none of that stuff has but ever worked honestly, for her. And it's, I wouldn't even say it's never worked, but the point of a sensory diet, if you guys ever hear that term, True. is to teach them how to regulate themselves. And Abby was on a sensory diet for years and years. She had multiple sensory diets. And I think that it was successful. Yeah. And that she learned what she needed. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say it didn't work. I think it was very successful. True. And we've never been able to find anything that can replace what that does for her. Right. So moving forward with Maverick, um, you know, he... Uh, he was not needed as a sensory dog, as a service dog anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we retired him. You know, we wanted him to have a life as a pet and just a member of the family. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't see any s sense in working him more, trying to find a fit for him as a service dog anymore in Abby's life because she didn't require it. So there you go. Yep. There's the 411 on Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> we need to close out the vlog as well. Hold on. Are you tired? I'm tired. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, I was looking at the thing. Oh. Because I was trying to see if I look cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Maverick, sit. Good boy. Maverick, sit. Sit. Good boy. Do it again.